Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful and happy day so far. As you can see in the title, we're going to be doing a shop with me and a haul. Um, today is Saturday the 18th. It is currently 9.30 a.m. And I'm gonna split this video into like two different days so that I can do like a clip today and then I'll probably be doing the haul Monday. So when you see this, it'll be up on Thursday, but I'm filming on Monday for the haul. So if you see me in two different outfits or something crazy going on, <laughs> that is why. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be going to uh, Walmart so that I can get some grocery shopping done. And most of my family does eat um, keto. So yeah, that's mostly, I'm mostly just getting keto products. So I just wanted to share with you, I saw like the sweetest thing while I was at Walmart. Um, this lady had basically about three carts of food and everybody was like gathering around her and like she was just having a hard time struggling to like move the carts cause she, they were full like or overly full. And it was so sweet cause this Walmart worker just came up to her and off just took her cart and offered to help her like check out. and like just moved her car for and they checked out together and that was just like the sweetest thing I've like totally seen today. That was just like, it warmed my soul and made me happy and gave me warm vibes. So it's Monday the 20th and I'm basically taking you through a meal I'm making for dinner tonight and the recipe for it. Um, I'm also gonna be showing you what I got at Walmart on Saturday. And so we'll just get right into that. All right, so this is just an overview of what I got. I'll show you everything individually. But first I just got this big 10 pound of ground beef, which I'm gonna have to split up and to put it in like Ziploc bags. I got a two pack of these 36 eggs because I go through a lot of eggs. And then I got this classic roast ground coffee because I drink a bulletproof coffee every morning. I got this Stevia, that's great value just because it's a bigger pack and the other ones I saw at Walmart were the packets instead of just like the granulated Stevia. I know some of this isn't food, but I also got this Avena like daily moisturizer for my face because it's been really cold here and my face is drying out. I got this lip scrub because again, same thing, my lips are like drying out. I got this ivory soap. I get it every single time just because it's nicer on my hands and I like the scent. I got this shampoo for my kids just because we needed a new one. I also got this almond milk, which is, oh yeah, it's pretty full. Um, I get this most every single time just because I don't use regular milk. And then I got heavy whipping cream to put in my coffee. And then hubby wanted soy sauce, so I got that. I also got some cauliflower, but we ended up using that over the weekend to make a meal. Basically, it was like cauliflower and chicken. Uh, so yeah, those are all gone. All right, I'm back. It is 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. I'm going to be making our dinner for the night, and I will take you along and show you what it is. Sorry, I'm looking down at my computer. I put the recipe on here, but uh, yeah, let's get started into dinner. So you guys just saw me basically put a whole onion into the pan. Now I'm gonna take about, sorry, I'm looking at my computer, 228 grams of actually beef. You can use chicken or beef. Um, today I only have beef, so that's what I'm gonna put in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that out and maybe put a little bit more in there. It just depends on 
how much um, I need to make for my husband and I because this is gonna be our dinner for tonight. So if I'm reading this right, it says cut at stem. So you cut here and all these markings for one pound portion. So I'm actually just gonna take this whole thing and put it into the pot. And so yeah, you got a pound of uh, beef. So now I'm just going to mix this into the pot as best as I can one-handed. You just want to get your beef brown and so it's ready to use and eat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my ground beef brown um, so that it's not raw ground beef anymore. I'm actually going to section off the rest of the ground beef and put it in Ziploc bags and then put it in my freezer. So when your beef is brown and done, you're going to drain half the oil out into somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. Once you've drained the oil from the beef and drained about half of it out, I turned the heat down from medium high to medium. And now I'm going to put about three cups of almond milk and just kind of make a roux with that in the xanthan gum. Here's what it's looking like now. I think I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and add the xanthan gum. So one thing I want to add is that it calls for a three-fourths teaspoon of xanthan gum and then four cups of broccoli so you can use broccoli or whatever vegetables you have on hand. So we actually have some broccoli and I'm just going to use these broccoli florets uh, that we got from Walmart. So when the broccoli is done you just basically put it into your pan and it'll continue cooking until you get more of like a not a soupy consistency but not like a super like thick consistency it's like an in-between um so i'm just going to show you guys that here's what that currently looks like and now i've not put any seasonings into here i'm just kind of stirring it around making sure we're getting more of like a thicker not too creamy consistency in here and letting those broccoli florets cook because i only cooked them halfway and then I'm letting them cook the rest of the way in the pan. I know this is gonna sound weird but I'm just adding pickle juice and then some salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning to taste and I will show you guys what it looks like as the final product when I eat it later but uh, I've tried it before and it's delicious and so again when this is done I'll also share the whole ingredient list with you. So before I go ahead and do some chores and get the dinner I have cooling, I'm going to share the recipe I just made with you. I call it my keto Italian soup, but honestly you can put whatever you want in it. Um, so it's about uh, either a pound of hamburger for me or beef, 228 grams of chicken if that's what you choose to use, one tablespoon of olive oil, it's one whole white onion, three fourths teaspoon of xanthan gum, three cups of almond milk, four cups of broccoli, pickle juice to taste, or you could use dill, uh, salt to taste, pepper to taste, and then Italian or whatever seasoning you want to use in the soup. So yeah, that's my dinner recipe for you guys this evening. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I make keto related videos once a week. We're all a family here and it's a great place to be. So make sure you stick around and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care guys.